Okay, so today we are going to be working with radicals and mainly simplifying radicals. So what a radical is, it is basically a um, square root. So to so if you don't know what a square root is, a square root is basically a number times itself will get you a number. So say we have uh, the square root of 25 we have to find two numbers that are the same that will get us to equal that number right there 25 and the only ones that are the same are 5 and 5 so that is the answer the square root of 25 is 5 now if we were to do another one like 49 the square root of 49 is going to be 7. Uh, so that's basically the idea of a square root. So let's see, what is the square root of 144? So two numbers that equal that multiply to 144. And uh, see, 72. So, so let's see this. 72 times 2 uh, does get us 144. But you see they have to be the same number. And 72 and 2 are definitely not the same number. So, so 12 and 12 are the only ones. So 12 is the answer. So... Let's do some harder ones. Sorry, my nose is a little stuffy. Uh, so, what if we wanted to do the square root of the square root of 28? Now, uh, 28, two numbers cannot be multiplied. Two of the same numbers cannot be multiplied to get 28 unless it's a decimal. And what we are working on here are simplifying radicals. So if we actually did the square root of 28, we would get this number right here. 5 and so on and so forth. It is a non-terminating decimal. So, what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to find with with keeping whole numbers. So, what what we have to do is in this number we have to find a a uh, a number that can multiply that to 28. Yet it is a perfect square, like 4, 9, 16, 36, uh, and so on and so forth. So, what times what will equal 28? And one of those numbers will be a perfect square. Well, the only one, and the highest one, is going to be 4 and 7. <laughs> so, basically, what the what we're doing is we're going to put like a, a square root a radical over these numbers so it's it's the equivalent of doing the square root of 4 times the square root of 7 and we know that the square root of 4 is equivalent to 2 so if we bring that over here zoop, then we get two square roots of seven. And that is our answer. Two square roots of seven. So that is the most simplified it can be, and yet we're still using whole numbers. So this is how we simplify our radical. Okay. So... Now that we have that idea, uh, what if we did the 
square root of, let me do this, okay, so what if we have the square root of 54, so what two numbers do we get by finding the square root, uh, what two numbers can be multiplied together to get 54? Well, the only one, the biggest one that I see that pops out is a 9 and a 6. So again, it's just like doing the square root of 9 times the square root of 6. And then we know that the square root of 9 equals 3. So then we bring the 3 over here and then put it in front, kind of like a coefficient. And then we have it as 3 square roots of 6. And that is our final answer. It cannot be simplified anymore. Okay? So... Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is have the square root of 100, sorry, square root of 112. Okay, so let's find a perfect square. So we know that 4 and 28 okay but there's also a bigger one and that is going to be 16 and 7 so if you didn't notice this if you never noticed that you could have had 16 and you just have 4 that's okay so let's do this equation so what's the square root of 4 times the square root of 28. Well, we get 2, so then we can just go 2, sorry I had to delete that, but if 2 square roots of 28. But that is not completely simplified because you have another perfect square in there, which is 4. So what we're going to do is, you can do this again, you, you realize that 4 and 7 match together, so we're going to do 4 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. And then we get 2. And then since these are both on the outside, we can multiply them together and get 4. And then we'll just bring that right over here. And together we get... 4 square roots of 7. And that is the most simplified it can be. And now I, we can, and then, now let's walk through. But say, you realize, oh, okay, well, we can do 16 times 7. That's fine, too. Uh, so, let's get that up here. One moment, please. So, we have 16 and 7, and then we know that a perfect square of 16 would be 4, and then we're going to find the square root of 4, then we get 2, 2, wow, that was really bad of me, I'm sorry. I'm not thinking straight. We're going to find the square root of 16, my bad, which will ultimately get us 4. And then we bring the 7 down because that cannot be simplified anymore. And we get 4 square roots of 7 as our final answer. And as you can see, it does not matter because we got the same thing ultimately it just might take a little bit more steps 
if you do it that way. So, do do do, let's get rid of this. And let's move on. So, let's say we have the square root of if we have the square root of a hundred and four well there so so what we can do is again if we find uh, the square root of 104, we see that, okay, uh, we get 4 and 26. Okay? Okay, so then we say, okay, well, square root of 4, we get 2, right? And then we get 2 square roots of... 26. Well, that, sorry, that looks like a 1. Can it be simplified anymore? No, it cannot. So, the answer to that is 2 square roots of 26. Okay? So, now we'll get even more complicated. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this, get rid of this, and actually we're going to get rid of this. Okay, so, we're going to have time shortly. So, now that we have, now that we've mastered radicals, not quite, but what if we did it as a division problem? And we have a numerator and a denominator, right? Uh, well, okay, so, so now what? Well, what if we have the square root of 16 over the square root of 25? So, we know that the square root of 16 equals 4, and the square root of 25 equals 5, and you just keep the that line, and then our answer is 4 over 5, completely simplified. And, oh geez. Okay. So, uh, do, 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 do. So, what if we did this? Uh, we have 177 over 226 okay so what do we do here we cannot find any uh, numbers that are the same that multiply and we initially get the same thing so what do we do well we just leave it as the square root of 177 over the square root of 226. If you cannot simplify it anymore, that's okay. You are, as we saw in the past, you can still have the radical in your answer. So our answer right there is just 177 over 226. So let's see here. We're going to wrap up shortly, and we'll do one last problem, and let's do four square roots, sorry, four square roots of six over eight square roots of twelve. Well, we realize here that we can simplify this to one half, so we have one over two, and then the six, we just keep. So 1 square root of 6 and 12, we get, uh, we get 4 and 3, so we get 2 times 2 square roots of 3, we get 4 square roots of 6.